Let's go through the process of turning on and referencing the ADL real quick. So I just turned this machine on. First thing I'm gonna do is pull it out of e-stop, hit the hardware reset, hit the software reset, and as always, don't forget to give the oil a little pump. You need one pull for every couple hours of usage. So I'm gonna start by referencing X to pull the tool away from Z center line, and then I'm gonna reference the Z and let it touch off. Now, I wanna tell Pathpilot which tool is in the tool holder. I'm gonna tell it tool one. And then now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna manually spin the spindle to a, a thousand RPMs because ultimately all we're gonna do is a little skim pass on the diameter of that material. And now I'm gonna move the tool out in Z without adjusting X just to get myself some room. And we're just gonna measure this. All right, now we're at 9885, so I'm gonna lock that. I'm gonna tell it we're at 0.9885. So now our X is set, and we can do the same thing for Z. And I'm gonna, again, come straight out in X, but not affect the Z. And I'm just gonna hit the Z zero button. So now we're true in X and Z on this material. Now we can go make parts.